Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Bringing you guys some more Series 3 content for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Second day of Series 3. We're this close to getting Master, so I'm hoping to push it today. I'm definitely hoping to push it today, but today we got ourselves an absolute banger of a team. We're rocking out with Shen Pao again because he looks amazing and he is amazing, but it is a rain team with one of my favorite Pokemon, Pelipper, and then we got Swift Swim Barish Guda, and we also have Palafin. So again, rain squad with Shen Pao seems like it could be absolutely amazing. We also have Amoongus on the team and Golden Go for a nice little special attacker. Super excited for this team. Hopefully, grab some wins and get to Master Tier in today's video. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. We have Series 3 content coming here. We got the new DLCs coming out. I'm doing a Nuzlocke soon. I'm still planning on that. And also, we got Breath of the Wild too, Or, what is it? Tears of the Kingdom for Legend of Zelda. Super excited to do a playthrough on that game. Gonna be awesome. So, again, stay tuned for all of the content but we got amoongus for our first pokemon for today's scene preview today with the regenerator and the rock helmet amoongus is amazing in trick room and outside of trick room just love this pokemon all around it's got pollen puff rage powder spore and protect pelipper paloops my boy as our second pokemon got drizzle to set the rain the damp rock to make that rain actually last longer it's got hurricane helping hand quick attack and wide guard first time using quick attack with pelipper gonna be fun it could definitely help us out especially up against sash pokemon or pokemon that are just low on hp palafin's gonna be our third pokemon you guys know palafin's the real deal you swap that out get it into hero form this thing is absolutely amazing it's got zero to hero the mystic water as its item rock and ice punch jet punch wave crash and protect Barrascuda is going to be our fourth Pokemon, Pelper's best friend. Got that Swift Swim, the Doubled Speed in the Rain, and the Focus Sash as its item. It's got Liquidation, Close Combat, Terror Blast, and Protect. Fifth Pokemon on today's team is going to be that Shen Pao. Love this Pokemon so much due to its ability, Swords of Ruin. It lowers the defense stat on every single Pokemon on the field except for itself. So pairing it up with a Pokemon like Swift Swim, Barrascuda in the Rain, we're going to be able to outspeed and just do some crazy damage. This thing has Ice Spinner, Sacred Sword, Haze, and Protect, and I did not mention... It is holding the light board to make it do a crazy amount of damage. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be our Choice Spec Golden Go. You guys seen Choice Spec Golden Go plenty of times. It does crazy damage, really good on that special attacking side. It as good as gold as its ability, and then an amazing move set of Make It Rain, Shadow Ball, Thunder, and then we have Trick in case we want to pass off that Choice Specs to a different Pokemon. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right-hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Shen Pao Rain team. We're hopping into our first match. We're going up against a Shen Pao and Ting Lu team. So Ting Lu lowers the special attack on Pokemon. We have a lot of physical attackers, so I'm kind of not worried about that too much. They also have the Titar. They have the Volcarona, and then they got Sandy Shocks, Shen Pao, and Gyarados. So they're definitely going to bring in Titar, try to get weather control from us. I think Palafin is going to be a solid lead for us. So I'm just going to lead Palafin, and I might also lead it with Shen Pao. Or I can lead it with Goldigo, and then bring Pelipper and Shen Pao in the back end. I really want Rain Squad. I really want the Rain Squad. But I gotta play to counter his squad, right? I gotta play up against that. So, you know, I'm gonna go Pelper. I'm gonna go Palafin here. And I'm gonna bring Shen Pao, and I'm gonna bring Rain Squad. We're gonna try to get this Rain cooking. I get that he has Sandy Shocks, but I feel like we could be fine if we get Palafin out here and all that. And, the, and get the weather control. I'm with it all day. So, Pelper's gonna be my lead. I'm guessing they bring T-Tart in the back end. So, I wish I did have Hydro Pump on this Pelipper. It would be amazing. It would be amazing. But if they go, say they go like no T Tar turn one and they go in the back end, I think I'm just going to swap my Pelipper. Because setting the rain and swapping it could be good because I could always bring it back out later, which I'm probably going to need. Weather Control is going to win us this match. So, we're going to lead the the, uh, the Palafin. I might double swap here. Let's see who they go Gyarados and Ting Lu. Gary the Gyarados and Ting Lu come out here. Totally fine. I don't mind that too much. And Palafin's going to come out for us. That's really fine for us. The special attack is actually down. I gotta swap Palafin right now. Rain's going to start. Again, I really, really wish that we had Hydro Pump on this thing. But yeah, from here, it just seems like a simple hard swap into into Bear Scooter, right? I, I like Bear Scooter here. I have the Focus Ash. I think it's fine. So we're gonna go Bear Scooter here. And I think I'm just gonna Hurricane and try to get some damage off onto you. That is going to be my play. So Hurricane, even though the uh, the Ruins of Vessel, is that what it's called? Abilities out here. We're not going to do that much damage. It's 25% reduced. I'm still looking for some ducks here. Get some confusion on this with the Hurricane. Could be big time for us. Could be big time. 
So he ends up with Strong Guard. She's gonna go into T Tar here. So T Tar's gonna come out here. We're gonna swap Power Up next turn. No, Sandy Shocks comes out here. Wow, Sandy Shocks. Okay. I'm cool with that. Sandy Shocks coming out here. We have Swift Swim Bash gonna still thrive in here. And I might terrestrialize my uh I might have to terrestrialize my Barrier Scooter next turn just in case he swaps that that uh Ting Lu into T Tar. Because again, T Tar is a problem. So we hard swap there. Can we get ducks? Can we get some ducks rolling here? Doing like no damage. Show me ducks. No ducks. Rock slide's fine. This thing's ripping with rock slide. Okay, so we're able to soak pretty well. Uh I really want to get rid of Sandy Shock, so I think I'm just gonna do that. And ch -ch -ch oh no, wait, I want to terrestrialize you. Because we know this thing cannot take an electric shot. The shot. So I, I want to terrestrialize this thing. And I want to go into a liquidation into the Sandy Shock slot. And then from here, I kind of want to swap you out for Shen Pao. I think going into Shen Pao could be really good. If they go into another rock slide, that's no big deal. Or I could just go into Palafin. Hmm. Now I'm going to go into Shen Pao. I'm lowering the defense on all these Pokemon. I'm ready to roll out. I'm ready to roll out. I think Shen Pao can soak up a rock slide, no problem. So I think we should be fine here. And plus, I want to get Pelper back out just in case T Tar comes out here. And that's exactly why I'm Terrasalizing. That's exactly why I'm Terrasalizing. In case T Tar comes out here and changes the weather, Sandy Shocks would then be able to outspeed my Bear Scooter and take it out with Electric Move. So by Terrasalizing into Electric, we can soak up a shot no matter what and get rid of that Sandy Shocks, no problem. So let's do it. Let's see what he's, how he plays this one. He's going to end up Terrasalizing himself. Is that Sandy Shocks? It's got to be Sandy Shocks, right? I'm hoping we can still KO it with this defense drop. The Terrasalize comes out here, and you are straight bug. He's bugging. Little bugger. Little booger right there. Little bug bug. Let's see how this one plays out here. Liquidation comes out here. Does it KO? It does. Nice little defense drop. We waste his Terrasalization. Big time KO for us. So again, we're hoping he just doesn't have T-Tar. And that's what I'm worried about in the back of my head. Is like, yo, are you going to bring out T-Tar? When are you bringing out T-Tar? Fisher comes out here. Yo, this thing tries to land a one-hit KO on me. Chill on me. Chill on me. And that's actually a kind of good combo. If you think about it, say you're going up against a bunch of special attackers and you just, like, lower all their stats and have, like, leftovers going too, then you can actually just, like, start trying to land Fishers, which could be pretty cool. Which definitely could be pretty cool. We're just going to Terra Blast this thing, get rid of you, and I could Ice Spinner. I could Sacred Sword here. Whatever would do more damage. Sacred Sword does more damage. Actually, no. It's not Stab. I could Haze. I could Haze. I'm thinking of just Hazing. Getting rid of Gyarados and just Hazing the stats. Because Gyarados might even protect here. Terra Blast comes out here. Beautiful. See you later, Gyarados. Even with the minus one, you're dead. Four times super effective. We have the Swords of Ruin out here. And we are ripping. We are ripping. And I, and I want this attack drop going. So that's why I'm Hazing on top of this. Haze comes out here. We're saying, hey, yo. See you later, minus one on both our physical attackers. Cool. Ting Lu, what are you doing? Stop and catch him. That's fine. We soaked that. We got that all day. Did a lot more damage than I thought, right? That did a lot of damage. That did a little bit too much damage. Their Shen Pao now comes out here. We have rain. We have speed. We have jet punches ready to go. Um, hmm. If they have first turn priority, it's a little bit of a problem, but I think we just go into close combat. We try to take this thing out. And, and then we just ice spinner you. Yeah. I'm cool with that. Shen Pao goes for that sucker punch. Can we eat? We do not eat. We do not eat. It's all good. It's all good. We still have Palafin. We still got Pelipper in the back end. Even though Pelipper's not going to do anything crazy. But Ice Spinner's going to fly here. And how much damage can we do to Ting Lu? That's a real question. A lot more than I thought. Thank you. The so big time damage. Life Orb is going to KO us. And now it turns into a 2v2 situation with my lovely little Palafin. We know this thing's going for Rock Slides. Um... I think Hurricane... I don't know. Can Hurricane KO with that? If that thing is vested. I don't know. I might just want to double down to Shen Pao, right? If I get rid of Shen Pao, we could be, really be thriving here. But Sucker Punch is scary. We, Dude, Sucker Punch is terrifying. Sucker Punch is terrifying. So from here, Jet Punch obviously to play. 100%. We're going to Jet Punch you down. And I do have Quick Attack for later usages. Uh... I say we just double down on the Shen Pao. We know it's Sucker Punching, right? Can we eat that? Okay, yeah, we eat that way more than I thought we would. Cool. Okay, so that's pretty much GG's. We're going to Jet Punch, bring you down to one. This is why we double down into it. We're going to Hurricane, finish that off, and then I can just Jet Punch and Quick Attack into that Ting Lu. 
It's game set match because I don't think Ting Lu's KO in my Palafin, right? I don't think I don't think it has enough damage to do it unless it lands a Fisher. Rockside comes out here. That's fine. Yeah, we both eat up. Ting Lu is more on the bulkier side, and that's gonna be game. Jet Punch can finish this thing off. Hurricane can also come in here. It's game set match. No problem whatsoever. What a first match. Shen Pao Rain Team absolutely thriving. I'm surprised they did not bring in that T-Tar because that's what I thought the whole match was going to be. But they just gave me weather. And like I said, if we got the rain, we were going to win this match. Match number two coming at you guys. And this one seems a bit tougher, right? Dragonite and Shen Pao is an insane combo. Very, very strong. We might have to put the Dragonite to sleep, right? It makes the most sense, but yeah, Dragonite, Shen Pao, we use it in a video, and it is just insanely strong. So going up against it is going to be tough. They also have Talonflame. They have Fluttermane, Baxcalibur, and Golden Go. And Golden Go. How should I play this one? I feel like Amoongus could be good, but if they lead Talonflame, it's a problem. It's a little bit of a problem. So I could actually go into these two and just try to get ripping with these guys. I think that's also good. And then bring maybe Amoongus and Shen Pao in the back end. But if they bring Shen Pao on their own, we can really get thriving. But Shen Pao is just strong all around, right? It's got that ice. It's got that fighting move. I can get down with him. He is dark, though, so Fluttermane can rip into it. But I have Palafin, and I kind of like this team. I kind of like this a lot. So I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. This one's going to be close. This one's going to be weird. I feel like if they get Dragonite rolling, we're definitely going to lose this match because I don't really have a way to counter it. But if they don't, then I feel like we can really get something going. But it's going to be tough. They got a bunch of strong Pokemon. They got Shen Pao to back it up. Two special attackers, which are very strong special attackers. Fluttermane, I'm kind of scared of, right? Because it rips into my Shen Pao, but I don't even know if they bring it, right? They might not even bring it. Considering it only rips into my Shen Pao. And Golden Go with Shadow Ball, but you never know. You'd never know. So let's see who they end up leading. If it's Dragonite and, and Shen Pao, we might just have to make the swap. It really depends on the lead. It's going to be Shen Pao and Baxcalibur. So they can Ice Shard with this. We have these two little boogers. And I feel like from here, we could swap it to Amoongus. But with two Ice Pokemon, it's not too bueno. That's not too good. Uh, Huh. Definitely want to Hurricane into, into you. We're going to Hurricane into you. And I could swap into Shen Pao on my own, right? Shen Pao on my own is not bad. I mean, Amoongus, we could, we could Terrasize it in a Fire. But I doubt they're going for an Ice Move right now, right? I do have Rocky Helmet here as well. So yeah, I am going to swap into Amoongus. But again, I doubt they're going into an Ice move into that slot. I really doubt it. So I'm swapping to Palafin. Little Dolphin, we need you in heroic form. We need you here. We need a big time physical attacker to help us win this match. Because the two people doing the heavy lifting is going to be the Palafin and the Shen Pao. Those are the guys who are going to get the KOs, try to get us to win. So we swap to Pally. And we're going to go into a move. Because, again, I don't think they go into an ice move into that slot. There's, n there's just no way. There's just no way. So he ends up going for a crunch in that slot. We're able to soak that one up. And that thing is going to take Rocky Helmet damage, which we love. And then a Glaive Rush is coming in hot here. That might KO me. Okay, we're able to soak. We like that all day. So Hurricane now flies here. Uh, we could Terrasize if we want to. Oh, we get the Ducks. We get the Ducks. We like the Ducks. I'm, th I'm thinking of just Terrasize in my... Uh, my Amoongus. I think this could be good for us if we Terrasize Amoongus. Uh, do I make sure Shen Pao goes down? Mm, I think I just uh, Terrasize and Rage Powder here. I could actually put the Max Calibur to sleep. I could protect. This is what I'm thinking, actually. I'm thinking, oh, I can't protect you. I might just quick attack this thing. Actually, I'm going to make sure Shen Pao goes down here. And I'm going to just Terrasilize. And I'm going to Rage Powder. Because I think a an Icicle Spear might come out here. And that might be physical, isn't it? Is Icicle Spear physical? It might be. And if it is, he's going to take some crazy Rocky Helmet damage. Which I would love. So let's see what our opponent ends up doing. Fire is a perfect terror type up against these two. Rage Powder is going to fly through here. Crunch would still do a decent amount of damage. But still... I think they E ops for the ice move now, right? The duck's coming out of here. Please hit yourself in confusion. You do not. And there's the ice shard. That's fine. That's exactly why we terrasize. And Glaive Rush is going to fly here too. Can we soak that one? That one gets a crit, of course. Lovely. Okay, so Rocky Helmet ends up doing that. We kind of wasted Terra. I wouldn't say we actually wasted Terra, considering, uh... 
considering we were able to soak up that clay brush and keep our pelper alive and we get rid of shen pao so i can kind of get down with that i can kind of get down with that i don't mind that terrestrialize for me i really do not okay so we got pal fin we got shen pao left uh i could bring out my shen pao we do have sacred sword to actually rip into that and it would ko it, it would ko it no problem if he doesn't terrestrialize so i am kind of leaning towards that let's do it let's go into this and let's see who they get, end up going into Talonflame, okay. I don't mind Talonflame. I do not mind Talonflame. Talonflame might actually terrestrialize here. So I'm gonna Hurricane into the Talonflame slot and I'm just gonna Sacred Sword into the back Talibur slot. The hurricane flying out here. Sacred Sword coming in hot here. Uh, Talonflame might outspeed me, right? It's a little scary. I don't have Sash. I could just protect you. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna hope Pelper goes down here. The thing is, I can't afford that Talonflame going into a Flare Blitz into me and just KOing me, right? I mean, we have the rain, but still. I would rather have just Palfin out here just to Jet Punch and take it out, no problem. So out comes Ice Shard. Ice Shard's just gonna KO us. That's, that's fine. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Like I said, I want to get Palfin and, and this thing out here at the same time. So I guess it doesn't have it, which is cool. But yeah, Jet Punch and... And Sacred Sword is now the play. So now it is a 2v3. I don't really mind where we're sitting considering we have Palafin ready to go. Full in the hero form next to a lovely little Shen Pao. Everyone's full HP. We're ready to rock it. So Jet Punch right into you. If you're not Sash, you are dead. And then Sacred Sword is going to fly straight over here. And actually that Talonflame might outspeed me because it has Gale Wings and Brave Bird will come out here first. But let's see if this just straight up KOs. It does. Awesome. That's exactly why I protected Shen Pao last turn exactly why and now if the sacred sword comes out here probably picks up a ko right ice shard's gonna come out here first that's fine we're soaking that all day no problem no problem shen pao gonna rip it in this thing see you later and now look at the position we are in we went from a 3v2 to a 2v1 in our favor shen pao and palafin know how to rip it they know how to rip it. the rain squad is thriving with shen pao today i think this match is gonna put me in master tier i think this victory will put us in master he goes into golden go that's cool. We got Jet Punch ready to roll. And I think we outspeed you. So I might want to opt for the Wave Crash, right? I might want to opt for the Wave Crash. Oh, you're 205 speed. Wow, you are very fast. And actually, Palafin, you're not. You're not as fast as I thought you were. So Jet Punch is going to be the player. We still got the rain. We still got all that. Um, I think I'm just going to protect uh, Chen Pao. And the reason I would want to protect Chen Pao is that I just want to keep it alive so my Jet Punch does more damage, right? The ability itself is doing crazy work. Jet Punch now flies. Almost came. Are you Sash? It was a free focus, Sash. What you mean? That is the freest of focus Sash ever. But we protect Shen Pao, which is a great call. I'm surprised he didn't end up going for a Make It Rain. But yeah, I'm just going to Jet Punch. And now I will go into a move like Ice Spinner to finish this thing off. Game, set, match. Pal finish Shen Pao. Clutching up for us. Final match coming at you guys. We're going up against a Jolteon team. A Jolteon team. That sounds amazing. Haven't seen Jolteon really on the rank ladder at all. So pretty cool to be going up against it. Hopefully our opponent brings it. But they also have Ting Lu and Chi Yu, which kind of is a little weird, right? It kind of contradicts itself. A little weird. Definitely a little weird. But it's all good. It is all good. It is all good. But who do I think they're going to lead? They got Fluttermane and Chiyu combo. We know that's terrifying. We know that's scary. We definitely need to bring in our Rain Squad, right? Rain Squad is the key. It's going to be key. So Pelper, I'm just going to straight up lead it. I'm just going to straight up lead Pelper and Palafin. It's the play. It's all day. We love it. We definitely need Chen Pao in the back in here to lower all that defense stats. And then last but not least, I could go in the Barrier Scooter, right? Rain Squad looks amazing. Barrier Scooter can Thrasilize, get rid of the Azumarill. Um, water is going to be super effective onto the Arcanine, onto the Chiyu, onto the Ting Lu. Absolutely amazing. But Golden Go is not bad because Flutter Main seems to be a problem, right? It could be a problem. But if, again, if we have Rain, we're outspeeding it and we're just dumping on it. So I just think Rain Squad's too good here. Let's go. Rain Squad, Shen Pao. This is what this team's about. This is why I'm showcasing it. Let's just bring them all in at once here for the final battle. But yeah, this team's actually thriving. You guys, if you guys have been watching my videos, you guys know I love rain teams. Rain teams are one of my favorites to play. Rain and stall, pretty much. I love them both. But uh, yeah, this team is absolutely amazing with the rain. He ends up going Chiyu and Jolteon. Chiyu and Jolteon. Okay, I don't mind if Palper goes down, considering it's set the rain. But now it would just be the hard swap play, right? Into Shen Pao? Do I Pao? Do I, do I go into Shen Pao here? Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Hmm. Trash Slice into Fine is really not going to help me. 
I am going to try to land this hurricane right in this Chiyu. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna swap you. Do we go into Shen? Mm. I don't really want to go into Barrier Scooter. I'd rather Shen Pao die than Barrier Scooter, to be honest with you. To be honest, I need all the rain Pokemon I can get. So we'll see what our opponent wants to end up doing. But yeah, I'd rather go into... I Again, I'd rather lose Shen Pao than Barrier Scooter in the rain. It's just my opinion. It's just my opinion. So, Little Leopard, you might have to die here. And I'm not going to lie. I think Shen Pao might be one of my new favorite legendaries. I think it's so sick. It's a snow leopard, right? With dagger teeth. Like, oh my god. That thing's amazing looking. Protect comes right from the Jolteon. And we love that turn. We love, love that turn. We love a nice little protect from Jolteon here. Dark Pulse is going to fire. I'm cool with that. We're able to soak. So I really, really like that swap. Hurricane now flies through here. How much damage are we doing this thing? Not bad. Give me ducks. No ducks. Oh, and you, are, are you guts? Are you guts, little boy? That is terrifying there. That is a little terrifying. Um, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what do I want to do here? I could help in hand. I wonder if Chiyu is faster. That's the real question. Do we think Chiyu is faster? I'm not too worried about the Chiyu. I can jet punch that and take it out. So I'm going to go for an Ice Spinner here. Helping hand Ice Spinner. I don't really know Chiyu's speed. And I'm kind of hoping it's not faster than my, than my Snow Leopard. So we're going to hope to just get off this Helping Hand Ice Spinner hit. Which would be, be big time for us. And straight up Jolteon just out speeds us. So that's in chaos, isn't it? Yeah. Hurts soul. Hurts soul. Jolteon's faster than that. It's crazy the speeds in this game. He's faster than 205. And he may have a threat flying. But I feel like we could be fine here. I feel like we could definitely be fine here. And of course I get burned. I got burned from that heat wave. It is all good. So from here, I am going to bring out the, not the Palafin. We're going to save the Palafin for later. We're going to bring out the Barrier And I'm going to try to slice Barrier into straight electric, just so we don't take some crazy damage. And then from here, we're just going to go for another Hurricane. And Liquidation should KO that thing. So Terrasalize, Liquidation, so electric moves doesn't kill us. And if Jolteon protects, he protects. But I feel like we should be thriving here. I feel like we're not in a bad spot. I kind of just used the Shen Pal to get my Palafin into the hero form because again i think we can win this match with just rain i really do because we have rain for so many turns they can't change it they cannot change it it's not like sword and shield days where you could just dynamax and change up the weather as pleased so weather is so viable in this game it really is that's why you see a lot of palpers a lot of torkoals and a lot of t-tars right now it's because like if you can't really change up weather enable weather team you're gonna get steamrolled you're gonna get steamrolled for the most part for the most part so we end up terrestrializing into electric just so Jolteon can't one-shot us, right? Or bring us down into Sash. And I'm hoping Barrier Scooter just outspeeds it and takes it out, right? That's what I that's what I, that's what I'm hoping. That is what I'm hoping. And we're gonna see terrestrialization from probably the Chi Yu, right? Which I'm not going for. I'm not too worried about that Chi Yu right now. Oh no, it's gonna be Jolts. Wow, imagine we went to a Terra Blast. Okay, so we have Terra Blast for that. That's kind of scary. Good call from him. Hopefully he goes to Electric Move in it. If he goes into the Electric Move into us and we go into the Water Move to him, that's kind of funny. Liquidation comes in hot here. Did a lot of damage, low-key. And Thunderbolt does fly. That's so funny. And we're both doing crazy damage. That's actually hilarious. Okay. Uh, bum, 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 bum. I think I'm just going to take out the Chiyu here. Do I get rid of the Chiyu? How do I play this one? How do I play this one? I think I might just liquidation the Chiyu, get rid of that, and then Pelper can get rid of Jolteon. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. So we're gonna liquidation down the Chiyu. Get rid of that little booger, just so we don't have to deal with it later. And we'll get rid of Jolteon. So what I think actually happens here is Barrascuda takes out Chiyu. Jolteon takes out Barrascuda. Pelper takes out Jolteon. And then again, we, we should have rain for a couple more turns here. That would really help out the Palafin. The lovely little Palafin. And we'll see how this one plays. This one's going to come down to wire. We're 2-0 and oh right now. Looking for that 3-0 perfect record. But I wonder what he's going to do. I'm kind of hoping he just protects the Jolteon, right? Which is an option for him. It definitely is an option. Which I think he might do. He withdraws Chiyu. That's a little weird. Who are you going to go into here? That's a, That's the real question. 
Sumerel. Wow. Really, really solid read from our opponent. Really, really solid read. Really solid read. So this should take out the Jolteon. And we know he has a zoom rail. Um, we have to start getting after it. I know Pel Pelper should outspeed a zoom rail, which is good. But Aqua Jet's a little scary, right? Aqua Jet in the rain is terrifying. Hurricane comes out here. We get rid of you. And okay. Now how do we play it? We got Palafin. We got Pelper. They got zoom rail, Chiyu, and one other. Did we see the other Pokemon? I believe we didn't. Burn shipping us up a little bit. This match is going to be close, close. It's going to be close, close. And I'm going to rip a Hurricane into a zoom rail. And then probably Jet Punch, whatever slot this is. Or if we outspeed, I don't mind just wave crashing and get rid of it. Because we know Terrasalize is out of the picture for both teams. I was coming down to it. It's going to be Arcanine. Ooh, that's a great Pokemon to have. That's a great Pokemon. So I think I just... Do I wave crash that? I might just wave crash that. Just get rid of it. So I'm thinking of just wave crashing. Get rid of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I could Jet Punch to you all day. I might even protect Arcanine here. It is an option, but that intimidates big, big time. Big, big time. But I still think Wave Crash will KO. I still think Jet Punch will KO. I did not check the rain turns, but we should have maybe like two or three left, I'm thinking. And that's really, really good. And that's why the Damp Rock is so good. Like, if you go up against a team with no weather, you just bring out your weather. It's pretty much there for the whole time. What is it? Eight turns? Seven turns? I think it's eight turns, which is ridiculously long. Absolutely amazing. So E Speed's going to come out here. Smart play by our opponent. And Wave Crash should KO. Yeah, Wave Crash KOs. Azumarill gonna come out here. Probably Aqua Jetty, right? Or no, probably Play Rough Me. Can you outspeed Pelipper and just get the Ducks or something? You do. Get some big damage off of this thing. Not enough damage. And a Play Rough comes out here and they miss it. Oh my lord, that was big time for us. That was big, big time for us. Okay, so from here... What I'm thinking of doing is because they think we're just gonna Jet Punch, right? They're probably protecting the Chiyu. They gotta be protecting the Chiyu. That's like their best option here. So how many turns left in rain? Three. Oh my lord. <laughs> Rain's lasting way too long. Rain is lasting way too long. So what I actually think is going to happen here is Chiyu's going to protect. So I'm just going to protect and block it. Because I think Chiyu protects. Azumarill tries to get rid of my Palafin. And we kind of just go from there. So I'm just going to protect the Palafin. And actually Chiyu might have not protect. I might have. Did I just lose this game? Okay, that's fine. You're going after Palafin anyway. You've got to be double down in Palafin, right? That's a wonderful protect from us. Hurricane flies here. We know we outspeed Azumarill and that KOs. Okay, that's game, set, match. Game, set, match. woo Let's go. Perfect record on its way, dude. Palafin was absolutely amazing. Today. The rain squad was absolutely amazing. We had Shen Pao in uh, the first two battles as well. Worked out really, really well for us. Um... Jet Punch gonna come in here, finish this one off, and yeah, battle was canceled. Absolutely amazing team today. This team was absolutely ripping today. Absolutely ripping. Pretty crazy. We went 3 0 with it. Shen Pao and the Rain Squad is unbeatable. You play this team right, I'm telling you guys, Master Tier is going to be no problem. And this team actually put me in Master Tier. Let me actually show you guys, just so you guys are not thinking like, oh, Gene Jeline over here. I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys. I think we're 5 2, 6 2, I think. Let's see. But there it is. Right there. Right there. There you guys go. 2,168. Just hit the master tier. I believe we're 6 and 2, right? 6 and 1, 6 or 2? Let's see. We're getting all these rewards and stuff. But yeah, 6 and 2, 8 matches. I actually disconnected on one of the losses. So that's why you guys did not see that. We went 6 and 1 in the past two videos, right? We went 2 and 1 yesterday. Actually, we went 3 and 1 because we or our opponent disconnected. And then it kind of got me back today when I disconnected. But yeah, 6-2 and two right there. There it is for you guys. Master tier with the Shen Pao team. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive every day. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.